is up guys, this is Linthio coming at you with a ban list discussion video and kind of um, future thought, well, thoughts on what's going to be the future format. So uh, yeah, we'll get straight into it. I won't do, I'll, I'll talk about the cards that I think should have been, uh, should have been hit and you know, like cards that are warranted uh, to be hit. Other ones, Dragon Rulers, not really going to say much. So banned, we have Dragon Ravine, um, return a different dimension, self-destruct button the six cents. Return, six cents, don't care. Dragon Ravine, oh, okay, they're, they're really hitting uh, hitting the dragons really hard, but it also hurts the Dragoonity players. But not really bothered about that. I think it might have been a bit too much to hit that, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm not really going to complain if you're going to overkill the dragons. The self-destruct button hit is interesting, and I think it's one that's been long overdue. Konami don't like draws, the players don't like draws, only a very small percentage of people who play it like draws because they just like to fuck things up. And it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really give anything to the format, to the game, so get rid of it, it's fine, problem cards. Limited, all the dragons. Um, Debris, Magician of Faith, Divine Wind of the Mist Valley, Final Countdown, Sacred Swords, Book of, uh, Spellbook of Fate. Reverse Order, Spellbook of Fate, needed. Card, I hate that card so much. There, a lot of Prophecy players are saying, yeah, it's fine, we can still use it. Yeah, but the thing is, that card is just so stupidly unbalanced and unfair. I think it was the best card that Prophecy's ever had, bar judgment. Just because the mechanics of how it works. You banish three, yeah, fine, whatever. It's a simple cost. The fact that it doesn't target is the biggest thing. If it targeted, I don't think that card would be as bad as people think. And I think it would have been alright, but... Yeah, don't like that. Sacred Swords of the Seven Star, really hitting the dragons hard. Final Countdown, sure. You know, it's not a great... It's not. It doesn't really promote skill, that card, because you have three of those, and then the rest of the 37 cards are just store cards. Fine. Divine Wind, yeah, okay, I suppose you don't really want anything going on with the Harpies then. Uh, Magician of Faith, fine. That card can come back. And the reason... I think this card can come back is it's no longer relevant in the format it's no longer relevant like a lot of some cards on the ban list not relevant either in today's for you know today's matchup and today's formats the reason why i don't think it is good if you look at all the cards that are banned and all the cards that are legal in the game the best case scenario that if you splash magician of faith into a deck the best case scenario is you play a dark hole again you get another MST. You know, there are no power cards anymore, power spell cards that a lot of people use. And some people might uh, disagree and say, oh, but it's good in this deck. This card has an amazing spell card. Yeah, cool, fine. If you want to give up your normal summon just to set a card, go for it. Cards that I think it would be good in, and decks I think it would be good in, and there's only really one, Prophecies. Just because you can make um, Apprentice Magician Prophecies. Do that. Great, that would be really good. That would work very nicely in the deck. Gives them a nice little bit of a bit of a boost as well. Do think that should be played in. Don't think it should be splashed in every other deck. Might work in Ghost Tricks if you want to recycle some of your spells. I'm not sure what spells you really want to recycle in Ghost Tricks, but sure, go for it. If you if it, you know if it tickles your fancy, go for it. I think if you really want to go for a flip, someone go for some of the illusions because that is just a bit of a better card if you want to you know give it your set or just play Ghost Tricks. Uh, so going on to the semi, Chaos Sorcerer and uh, Lone Fire Blossom. Cool, Chaos is a little bit back now because you've got the BLS and the two Chaos Sorcerers, but fine, it's, rel it's not really relevant, not really been doing much. It gives some of the rogue decks a bit of a boost, fine. Uh, Lone Fire, cool, the Shimra cards are coming out, gives plants a nice boost, perfect, you know, it's completely fine. The very important thing to note about that is Debris went to one and that went to two. I think if Debris was still at two and Lone Fire was at two, that would have hurt. Uh, I think Debris was at 2, or is it at 3? I can't remember. Um, but either way, <laughs> it's good that Debris is at 1 and Lone Fire is at 2, because Debris being at 1, if it was if it was more than 1, I think it would be a problem there, just because of the, the synergy Debris would have with the deck. It might make it a little bit too powerful. So quite happy with that. Unlimited, bit of a long list. Arclaw, Christian, Mizuki, Plague Spreader, TG, Striker, Tour Guide, The Underworld, uh, Cancellar M7 and 5, and uh, Tanky, basically. Again, reverse order. Tenki, don't really know why you did that. I suppose you really want to push those bougians. But sure. Don't really think it's that bad. Uh, M7, wow. Really didn't see that coming. I think that was one of the very few cards that I would have seen, you know, being bumped to Unlimited. I don't think it's going to have much of a impact. 
I think most people only run one or two decks that only run three. Gishki Heretics, I suppose. Um, not even not even Constellas run three. Um, I think they'll probably just run two. Um, yeah, that's all I really say about that. Tour Guide the Underworld, sure, bring it back. Not a problem. Bring back Sangan, though, seriously. That card doesn't need to be banned anymore. But I suppose that's not going to happen now. Tour Guide's gone back to three because then you might just revert back. But, you know, plants can use Tour Guide if they so wish. Um, and, you know, it's quite nice. Our little bitch is back. Then we have TG Striker. Sure, fine. About fucking time. I really, really didn't understand why that was, it was banned. I understand how the, deck, how the deck works. Still don't understand why it was gone. Plague Spreader and Mizuki. You will now all see my obsession with zombies. Back in the day, the zombies was my favourite deck. And it still is my favourite deck. But I've never shown that on my channel. I've never shown you a deck profile. However, I have zombies. It's And they're all in my folder. They're all ready. Like, pretty zombies. And they're all, all like, you know, the zombies themselves are all max rarity and everything. Um, oh, I'm just having so much fun just getting them built and just because Mizuki I think the, the important one Plague Spreader okay cool that's really good to have but the reason why zombies were so good back then is because you know they had card save return they had Brio uh, Brian Ark even and that's why they were just shattered a bit by Teladad but they did top but the important thing is Mizuki and I just think that card is so good it gives the deck a nice boost it just lets you enable a lot more different plays with zombies uh, Onidad deck um, is quite nice as well. Basically, zombies are based around level fours, um, as they all are, and yeah, just great. And the one card, the last one I left to talk about, is the most exciting one for me. Arclaw Christia is now at three. Harold says what? <laughs> now this is ridiculous. I didn't expect it. I would really liked. Um, uh, ARA back to three. Um, I really, really would like Advanced Victory a lot back to three. And I think it's it's coming. I think it's going to happen. But I don't think it's going to happen just yet. I think probably next format or the format after, Advanced Victory a lot will go to three. Just because it's been like, it has been like that in the OCG. Nothing's happened. With Herald, I think everyone's kind of forgotten about it. And I just think next format, especially how I think next format's going to go, Herald is going to be an amazing card, an amazing deck. And Artlock Christie goes straight to three in my version. I've, I haven't even I haven't even considered it. It's just gone straight to three because the card is so good. And how I might... I think there isn't going to be that much special summon as there was in this format. And some people might think Artlock Christie is, you know, not going to be as strong. In Herald, it's very good. The fact that they can't, no one can special summon, really good. The best bit about it is getting something back. The fact that it has great synergy with Herald, how you special summon for something, and the, the fairy that's been minus from your hand has been replenished, that's really good. That's why I, you know, I really like Christia. It's going in there, and Christia's a boss. Let's face it, 2 8. Great. It's it's just it's it's very difficult for someone to get over when you have a Herald and a Christia. But that's not what this video is about. I'll do a separate one about that. So that's the ban list. As regards to what is going to happen next format is another matter. Decks that I think they're going to be up there. Uh, Bujins, just because of the amount of people who are going to be playing them. Uh, Fifest, because they're good. You know, Wolfberg, the four axis is good. Three axis isn't really going to show its face that much, I don't think. But it's still, you know, viable. That spirit is can do crazy stuff on its own, even though it's at one. Uh, Constellas. Probably going to be uh, making a move. Um, you'll see them popping up every so often. Uh, plant variations, I think you'll see as well. Just because people don't really like to put down their favourite decks back, you know, from back in the day. I'm prime example of that. Herald, um, Heretics, Zombies. So it's it's just we play with what we know and what we like. And with these new Shimmer cards coming up, I don't think they're very good currently. Like the whole excavating thing, I don't really like it. I think it's more of a gimmick, but, you know, they, they might get more support. Who knows? Uh, someone might come up with something busted, and uh, that just makes them fun. Um, Chaos Dragons could be a thing now. With Evil Swans dropping out, I think Evil Swans are going to jump right down the list, and no one's really going to play them, because all the top decks are going to be level 4s, and 
Evil Swans can't really match up to that. Evil Swans against Fire Fist suck. Evil Swan against Constellas suck. Evil Swan against Bujans still suck. Just because you can't get over those, you know, the whole control your matter. And just the one card that really screws over um, Evil Swans is... Um, it's funny how I've gone and forgotten what it is, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. The one you discard, their own Kalu. Um, Crane. That's the one. Crane. <sighs> Evil Swans can do nothing about that. And it... You know, Evil Swans were so good. And they started becoming better towards the end of this format. The the September to De December format. Is because Dragons were around. Dragons were the biggest deck. And if you go up against enough decks. And you gear your deck towards combating how they run you're great first turn orphean back row have that dress for that blaster you're good like i you, there's a lot of the times you can't get around it and i think that's why they did so well i did love evil swans but i've just grown grown bored of them that's why i sold mine i grew really bored of them and it just wasn't really fun now the decks that i've got now i think are fun all right Crucify me for saying Herald's fun. It's fun when you're playing with it, not when you're playing against it. But it's it's just, you know, I just don't think they're going to be viable anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's that's that. So they're going to be the big decks, I think. You're going to see a lot of uh, random decks popping up as well, just because the format is going to be blown open, like so open. It's going to be untrue, and it's going to make for some really, really tough decisions in the side-in department, but it's going to make the format fun. It's going to make Yu-Gi-Oh! fun again. And I think it's going to be a very... Another thing, it's going to be a very heavy back row format, I think. So get those trap stuns ready if you're going to be using uh, OTK decks or anything like that. Just trap stun, I think, is going to become a staple now, because trap stun is a great card. In, for example, in Herald, I only I run Royal Decree, but that's because of the type of deck I play. Herald can control and protect the decree. Enough said. I'll I'll, I'll talk about that in other decks, uh, deck profiles with you know those decks. But yeah, so overall, my feeling on the ban list, um, happy. They've addressed the problem cards, they've addressed the problem deck, they haven't hurt anything unrealistically, they've kind of cleared up some of their, you know, lingering mistakes, uh, self-destruct button, stupid card for example, uh, fate, goods that was hit, prophecies, that's another one, prophecies I think will be up there as well, um, what else, what else, we have, you know, zombies, which zombie variants will be around as well I think, just because the mass amount of people playing them. And yeah, I really like the Magician of Faith coming back. It just shows that they are looking at old cards and seeing if they will work. And that's another reason why I think they've done the three month ban lists. Because it allows them to play with the banned cards, the old banned cards, to see if they bring them back. Obviously, they're not going to test out things like Chaos Emperor Dragon, uh, Delinquent Duo, Painful Choice, just because they're too broken and they will always be broken. Unless the whole game changes, but then it won't be Yu Gi Oh! Those cards, for example, I'm not saying it's just them, but a card to save return, why with Asian Eyes White Dragon apparently rumouring it to be coming back and everyone started spazzing out, don't be fucking stupid. That card was never coming back. That card would have single-handedly broken the game more than six cents. And I know that's a bold statement, but pff, that would have broken the game completely wide open and it would have been crazy unfair. Uh, just, just for example, put it in Zombies. You know, That's where the card was ridiculous. You, you, and you can just splash it in a lot of different decks. Dark World, yeah, it's, so I'll have that 3k beat stick and a draw, thanks. Um, just I, I'll just discard for a cost to splash the summon and I'll draw as well. Not fun. So that card is never coming back. It will never come back. It's just one of those cards that are uh, pinned on that ban list, on that ban section, very firmly. And it won't come back. So th just don't spaz out anymore, guys. Um... But yeah, really nice. Final Countdown's nice not to go up against those decks anymore. The only real one that you're going to go up against are the Exodia decks. But take it with a pinch of salt. You guys should know how to beat it. And if you you know, if you know, don't, your side will deal with it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Really enjoying the format that's going to be next format. I do know. I know I will love it. It's going to be good. Um, I think that... It's going to be a slow one, as I said, a slow format in the playing style, not time-wise. Uh, I think we're going to have a lot of more interesting tops. Um, I don't think it's going to be as 
you know lined out as possible i think it's going to be very you know very interesting to see how it pans out and um yeah that's it so i hope you enjoyed the video guys um do let me know what, how you think of the ban list what you think of it um what do you think next format they're going to do because so far it's looking pretty balanced what are they going to do next format to fuck it up <laughs> so yeah that's it thanks guys uh as i said comment down below let me know what you think like comment and subscribe cheers